I don't want to teach you Vanilla Riff. There's already hundreds of videos online which show you the correct way on how to play this riff. But what most videos don't show you is how to play the solo section he plays in the middle of a song. And it's very, very difficult to do because he's combining rhythm guitar and melody at the same time. And it's even harder to do if you think about the low tuned E string, which is tuned down to a C. Now in this video, I will show you three musical ideas from John Mayer himself he uses to improvise and play solo during the solo section of a song Neon. Let's check out the first idea. That groovy idea is very, very cool, and to pick that up, he's playing four notes. It's just that slap, and then palm muted notes. It's the low C string, then the, um, what is that? The, there will be a C, C flat, and then a B, a B note. And back to the C note. And the line begins. And still palm muted. And the important thing here is to include the bass line. And you can exaggerate a little bit here. Because you can see in the video, he's always landing his uh, his right hand on the strings after each note. And this is just a chromatic line here. Just 8, 9, and 10 on the D string. And then the same thing again. Oh, and I forgot to say, um, we are ending that chromatic line with a slab after that. And then the 8th fret of the G string. And then the C note here, the D string. And then the same line. And then he's playing a little line which goes... It's a hammer on. Uh, he had the 8th fret D string to the 9th fret. And then a pull off and a slide to the 7th fret. Then he plays with his pinky the 10th fret of A string, back to the 7th fret D string, and back to the 10th fret A string. So far we got... And I like here to do a slap after that to keep myself in time, but I think he doesn't do one. just has a little break, a little pause there. And then again, the same line. And then after the third time, he's doing a little pull off here at the um, 10th fret G string to the 9th fret and then the middle finger pulls off to the 8th fret. So two chromatic lines in a row. Then the C note here, the 8th fret G string. Then a hammer on and pull off from the 7th fret G string to the 8th fret. Then the 
the C note again here, the D string 8th fret, uh, 10th fret. Then a pull off with your middle finger from the 9th fret to 8th fret. And then the same line we had before. And then we are ending here at the 7th fret D string. Then he's having a little little pause and is playing with his pinky finger. This little line here, 11th fret B string, 10th fret B string. Then he's playing 8 and 8 at the E and B string. And then the minor third, the 8th fret here at the G string. And then he ends that line with a ring finger on the C note. So far we got. And then on to the next groove. Now I think he plays here starts out like this. It's just twice the open C string and the 8th fret D string. Then the, line, the note from the um, bass line. With your thumb, it's the 7th fret of your uh, C string. And then a slap. And then twice this little chord from the um, solo section of the Where the Lightest version. I believe it's some kind of sus chord. It's your thumb on the 10th fret at the C string, the ring finger at the 10th fret D string, your index finger at the 7th fret G string, and your middle finger at the 8th fret B string. There's probably some um, plug knob between it. Some kind of pickup note. Then he plays the double stop, which is the um, 11th fret of the E string and 13th fret of B string. And then jumps back to the double stop here, 8th fret E and B string. And after that he's, even, he's also doing a little slap. This little quick line, it's a slide from blue note to the, um, to the um, what is that, the fourth interval, and then a pull off to the eighth fret at the G string, and then your root note at the tenth fret D string. repeating this like twice or three times in a row. Now the third time around he plays the following thing. Something like this. Now the beginning part is exactly the same. Now when it comes to the double stops he's playing the following thing. It's the line. It's the same double stop, but he then goes to the double stop here of the G and B string, the 11th fret and 12th fret, and then also to the 8th fret B and G string. And then when he comes here to the 8th fret E and B string, He's pulling off from the 10th fret to the 8th fret, plays the 8th fret or B string. Now after that he plays the 10th fret of a G in the D string, he rolls his finger. Now after that he rolls his finger from the 10th fret G string to the 10th fret D string. Then plays the 8th fret G string and 10th fret G string. Then 
Benny slides into the stopper stop here. And the important thing is to really rake with your index finger through a string. He's then playing the 10th fret of a G string and slides with his index finger from the 8th fret to the 7th fret G string. Then pulls off from the 10th fret of a D string to the 9th fret to the, to the 9th fret. Then the 7th fret G string and back to the 10th fret D string. So far for this variation. And the last three notes are it's the 10th fret of A string, then 11th fret of A string and the 8th fret of a D string. And then he's ending that with this little groove, which is just the 8th fret of a D and G string, and the 11th fret of B string, then a, then a slap, then again, then he's lifting his index finger, so we got 8, 8, and 8. Then the same notes here, 8, 8, and 10 of a B string. And then back to 8, 8, 8. And then this little double stop here, which is the 10th fret G string and 8th fret of a D string. And then I believe this is the 8th um, fret of a G string and the 7th fret of a D string. Then he goes back to the main groove. Now let me play this again slowly. Now before we check out the musical idea number two, make sure you like the video and you also subscribe to my channel down below so you don't miss out on future videos. Let's go. Now he's sometimes playing around with those three weird chords. I believe they are some kind of source cards. I will um, show them here on the screen. And you don't even have to remember, remember the name, but you have to remember um, the melody of that chord because it's essentially a chord melody. Now the chords he plays are... It's just with your thumb here, the third fret, then the third fret with your index finger at the D and G string, and the ring finger with your pinky plays a fourth fret, and that's the chord shape. And he's moving that shape around. And the melody you essentially hear it's this little thing. It's the highest melody note. And he's sometimes playing around with this and playing that one chord twice or three times and the other ones just once. That doesn't really matter, you have to play around with those chords and create a little groove. And now sometimes after playing those chords, he goes to the little bass thing. Which is not that easy to do. I haven't mastered that yet, but it's cool to try. It's just, it's very simple from the note perspective, but the right hand, it's very weird to play with your next finger here, the A string. And then also the low uh, C string has such low tension that it's very weird. It's just a hammer on onto the third fret here with your ring finger. Oops. And then a hammer on onto the um, the first fret with your index finger. And then he repeats that for the for the fifth fret and the seventh fret. It's 
just always two, two frets. <laughs> Sometimes he is breaking out from that and goes even higher to play the same thing on the on the top frets. Yeah, sometimes something like that. Now what he is sometimes also doing while playing those chords, you saw that in the video, he's playing a little counter melody. Um, chord melody at the top. Now you will play something like this. Now the chords are exactly, exactly the same. And then you will play those little shapes here, which is um, 10th fret and 10th fret with G and B string, and the 13th fret with your pinky at the E string. Then he moves that to the 8th fret and the 10th fret of the E string. And he jumps one string set higher and plays the 8th fret with his index finger at the D and G string. And then Pinky now plays the 11th fret of B string. And it's very, very difficult to play this fast. Now slowly. Now that's a very cool idea to cite a popular melody, a popular song, and a song or a solo of your own. And he's doing that by picking up that melody by playing a muted C note, then a palm muted um, C note at the um, 10th fret D string, and then in the next finger plays a 7th fret of G string. And then he plays the minor third with the C note together. Then your index finger plays the 8th fret of B string. And now the interesting part. Your thumb plays the 7th fret at the C string and your ring finger plays the C note at the 10th fret D string. That is already a stretch. But then, lightning fast, he's switching to the um, bass note, you have the 10th fret, and the index finger switches to the 7th fret G string. And that really breaks my fingers. That's a very quick jump. And then he slides further to the 8th fret. And then again plays the 8th fret of B string. No, it's not the 10th fret actually, it's the 10th fret of the D string. It's of the G string. That's the melody. The 10th fret of D string and then the 8th fret again of the B string. Then he's including the double stop here and playing the low C note together with that while including the bass line. If you want you can leave out the B string, that works as well. Sometimes he will do it even more difficult. He's gonna bar the 8th fret of E, B, and G string. 
and slide from blue note into the um, fourth, you know, for fourth interval. But honestly, for me, for me, that's an almost impossible stretch. It sounds, of course, more full if you include more strings. But you can already hear that's not so cleanly played. And also that is a stretch in itself. But as I said, you can play the easy variation, that is cool as well. Now if you learned something, then please leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Also consider supporting me on Patreon, that would be much appreciated. There are tabs to download, early access to my videos and more. I would like to see you there. Until next time, bye bye.